Hello everyone, Henry here from Fully Charged and today we're talking about how these premium electric bikes can actually save you money. Now, you'd have to be living under a rock for the best part of a few years for you not to have heard that dreaded four word phrase, cost of living crisis. And I think it's fair to say that everyone here is feeling the pinch across the board. But today we want to try and prove to you that actually, and actually will prove to you, that these electric bikes, top of the range electric bikes, are a far more financially viable alternative to more traditional methods of transport. Now, it should be said that these are considered investments, but actually that is what they are in their truest sense of the word, an investment. Evidently, electric bikes are a far more greener and cleaner way of getting around town. They are far more efficient. You can get from A to B in a quicker, faster way without the need sometimes of even having a shower. They are also very good exercise, okay? And subsequently, you um, can improve your mental well-being. But most importantly of all, ahead of all of it, um, and it's actually something that a lot of people in the industry don't talk about, but everyone does who rides them. They're just a hell of a lot more fun. We are focusing on three categories of electric bikes as against their comparative mode of transport. Right here, we've got the cargo bike versus the car, a commuter electric bike versus the tube, and a hybrid bike versus the train. Of course, we can't cover every scenario, but we hope we find the happy medium between the type of electric bike you would ride as against its counterpart. First up, we have got a rear-loading cargo bike, in this case, the Benno Boost E, and a front-loading cargo bike, the beautiful Risa Miller Pax to 70 Vario. Why have we got these bikes? Now, typically when you watch these type of videos, it actually really, really annoys me. People skimp out and just get the sort of entry-level version in order to try and show you how much money you can save. We don't even want to do that. We want to show you that these are the best type of electric bikes you can get in this category. They really are. They are Bosch-powered. They're beautifully made. They are made from quality components, but they still save you money. It costs an average of £3,556 a year to operate your car. Now, why is it that amount? Well, you've got the depreciation of the car each year, fuel, obviously a massive expense, uh, car insurance, parking fines, permits, tolls, uh, MOTs, servicing, repairs. It really is an extortionate price when you add all of those up together. On top of that, this is just the depreciation and running cost. This doesn't actually take into account the purchasing uh, of the actual vehicle itself, be it through leasing, financing, or outright. So what's the additional cost to a cargo bike in comparison to a car? Well, obviously the one time first off purchase was one of these, a gold standard lock. Now you don't actually need one, but it makes sure that you are approved by an insurance provider. So after that one time purchase for the lock, what are the operating costs annually? Well, you need to charge the bike, you need to insure the bike, you need to recommended go for a cargo bike service at least once a year. And last but by no means least, you've also got parts there to deal with. Now, all of that is optional, it's advisory, but we at Fully Charged would highly recommend it. So if you are looking to continually make sure that your cargo bike is in tip top condition, make sure you come and visit us at one of our stores and service centers across the UK. Of course, we all understand that a lot of people can't pay for the bike outright, and we've got you covered for that. We offer 0% finance and of course there is the fantastic cycle to work scheme initiative so the benno boost e if you were to spread that cost over four years you would only be paying 128 pounds a month or four pounds 20 a day with cycle scheme you can see the additional savings you would make and cost you as listed as 93 pounds a month or three pounds and five p a day now this is not even talking about the residual value that these bikes have these are premium bikes that have been made from reputable manufacturers with best-in-class integrated e-bike systems in them. In this case, Bosch, which is the biggest blue chip that you can have from a manufacturer. So if you were looking to upgrade after your four-year period, or if your circumstances did change, then you would be able to sell this bike for a considerable amount of money on the second-hand market. And hey, even one of these, the Paxa 70 Varia, which can fit one of me in them, which is actually slightly ridiculous, um, costs you only £186 a month or £6.81 a day. It really is a no-brainer. And with the Cycle to Work scheme, if you're on the higher tax bracket, you could only be paying £131 a month or £4.81 a day. Now compare that to a car. Just to operate the car over four years, it's on average £14,224. That is nine pounds a day and that is before you've even bought it okay now this is three times less than that 
inclusive of the purchase. It really is a fantastic offer. So where do we stand between the cargo bike and the car? Well, let's be honest, think about how much you use your cargo bike in a day-to-day -day environment and how much you'd use it with the kids to get to school, extracurricular activities, shopping, okay? You've got no faffing about. It is door-to-door -door service. Instead of actually having to belt them up in the back, your neck getting cricked while they're looking at bloody Angry Birds or something like that, okay? Your life just becomes a lot less stressful with a cargo bike. Now, of course, we do understand that for bigger, longer journeys, you know, down the M4, something like that, you do need a car. But we hope this video goes some way to proving that if you do currently have a second car and you're looking to get rid of it, then the bike, cargo bike might be for you. And alternatively, if you actually live in the cities and you're just tired of your car, then actually the cargo bike is the right one for you. Now we at Fully Charged are very fortunate to have a whole host of different ranges of rear loading and front loading cargo bikes from the world's A-list manufacturers. So please do get in touch with us at one of our stores in the UK or online. A cargo bike might not be what you need, but maybe this next option might be. At Fully Charged, we're lucky enough to have a whole array of different urban electric bikes for you to offer from fold-ups to commuters to ones that don't actually look like an electric bike. Look at this. But today we're focusing on two models. That is the Decenio Urban S11 and the Turn Vectron S10. So what is that? Four days a week from zone three to zone one on on-peak time spread over four years is £5,223.20p. That is a substantial amount of money. And monthly, that's £108.80p. Now, if you had a travel card, it's actually £7,858.80p, so even more. Now, is that the only cost to you if you're riding the tube? Obviously not. You've got someone's armpit in your face, okay? You've got really sweaty and clammy hands. Um, mine are the whole time. They're actually quite fat as well, like King Charles, but there you are, you didn't need to know that. Um, but actually, with an electric bike, you've got, you know, the wind in your face, okay? You don't need to necessarily think about just going straight A to B. You can take the longer route to you to get to work and really just zone out. But even if you've done that, it's probably more likely that you'll be quick again to work than you would on a tube. So you could actually spread the costs of the purchase up front via finance, which we offer here at Fully Charged at 0% APR spread over the 12 months. Or alternatively, once again, you can do it on the Cycle to Work scheme. Looks really can be deceiving. This Decenio Urban 11 speed can actually only cost you £101.10 a month or £3.31 a day. And just look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Now, if you were to do a Cycle scheme yourself and you're at that 20% tax bracket over the four years, it would equate to a monthly figure of just £81.25 a month or £2.60 daily. Now this is the Turn Vectron S10, a very versatile option for the city. Why? It folds. Even without the Cycle to Work scheme, it's £102.79 monthly or £3.37. And it's an absolute workhorse. The Cycle scheme itself, it's monthly £82.47 or daily £2.71. Now, of course, once again, because these are from reputable brands, the residual value on the bikes is actually second to none. Train lines, where to begin? Everyone knows that they are just such an expense nowadays to get around our country. Now, lots of our customers live in zone six and commute into zone one right here, London Bridge, for instance. And actually, you've even got some people who obviously commute town to town, places like Woking and Guildford. Now, this actually includes our head of content, who is right behind this camera right now, Jake, who's holding it. Now, Jake commutes from Kingston into London Bridge. He does that four times a week, and that costs him a mighty £56.40 a week. It's £14.10 a day. It's a monumental amount. Uh, now we are doing this calculation at four days a week in on peak times like we've done with the commuter options. Now over four years that's £11,731.20p or you know monthly that's £241. So that is a considerable amount of money and it doesn't factor any price rises that may occur in the future. Now, if we were to take this bike here, which is the Mustache Samedi 28.3, a really popular option for us here at Fully Charged. Trekking bike, but you can also use it in the city as well to commute around. Now, that is going to cost you as little as £86.10 a month or £2.63 a day spread over those four years. Now, factoring a cycle scheme into this as well at a basic tax paying bracket, you pay over the four years, you're looking at monthly costs of only £69.96 a month or a daily cost of £2.30. To ride that bike, look at it. 
Now, of course, instead of actually never being able to get your train on time because they're always delayed, and actually when you're trying to get a seat, you actually can't get a seat, so it means that you're staying by the carriage, which is a nightmare, you get this. Zone six to zone one, you're probably looking at about 12 to 15 miles. Uh, that's probably the most that you'll do, and these batteries will do that two, three, maybe four times over. You know, 500 watt hour power tube batteries from Bosch can really get you up to 65, 70 miles of range in one sitting. On to the Riesen Müller Roadster Touring, one of my personal favorites from the Riesen Müller collection that we sell at Fully Charged. Now, how much does a Roadster cost spread over that four year period? Well, it's only 110 pounds and 6p monthly or daily £3.61, which is less than the most expensive flat white that you can get in London nowadays. Of course, you'll be doing a hell of a lot more with this bike than you would be just going on the train, okay? This becomes your weekday companion, your weekend adventurer. You can really just go out, zone out, and take in, again, what all of our cities, our lovely countryside, our towns have to offer. Now, a 20% tax bracket for the Roadster, you're looking at £87.93 for daily, that's £2.89. Of course, why have we chosen these bikes? Well, the bikes that we sell here at Fully Charged, we really do call them the A-list. Why is that? It's because they really are the comparative mode of transport to a train. They are built to last, they're durable products, and they can withstand that 50-minute, 45-minute commute day in, day out and you will be saving money over that time guaranteed. So there we have it, absolutely huge savings to be made whether you are looking into a cargo bike, a commuter bike or a hybrid bike as against the car, the tube or the train. Now of course we do understand that these are considered investments, it's a conscious decision for you to buy an electric bike but this is the reason why we've done this. You may have just started your research into electric bikes and we really do hope to you that actually premium electric bikes like these are not actually as expensive as you may think at the start and that they really do save you money over time. Now you could get your e-bike from anywhere but with over 10 years of experience in selling the very best in premium electric bikes here at Fully Charged we are here to help you get charged and stay charged and we've had all types of different customers similar to yourselves are looking into buying electric bikes be that someone who's typically taking the tube who's typically taking the train or who is looking for a car replacement so please do feel free to get in touch have a look at us online at fullycharged.com or at any one of our stores across the uk like and subscribe it means a lot see you soon